All your Teespring storefront questions answered. What's up guys, Bodie here, BodieDavison.com. Today's video, we're gonna dive into a heap of different questions that I get. So, I have a lot of videos on the channel. I have the Teespring tutorial playlist, I have the print on demand playlist. Uh, lots of videos to go through, so people get lost sometimes, and then they ask me questions on my videos, that's fine. So, a lot of the questions that I get are very basic to me, and this video is going to be covering a lot of those questions. It's going to go through the Teespring storefront and cover as many questions as I can in one video. And if you have any other questions that you want to ask, make sure you drop them down below and maybe I'll make a part two or I'll just answer them in the comment section for you. If you're new to the channel, I like to talk about print on demand and making money online. So make sure you take a look around, check out that print on demand playlist, check out the Teespring tutorial playlist, and make sure to join the free Facebook group, which is called Print on Demand Mastery. Please give the video a like for me, comment below, as I said, any questions you have or video suggestions, and make sure you hit subscribe. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So this is my demo store, as you guys would know that have been watching the channel, and I'm just going to take you through a few things that will pop up and hopefully it answers uh, most of your questions. But anyway, one of the first things is people don't know how to edit their storefront and that is because it's kind of tricky. So if you go to storefronts, which sorry, if you just go up here and then go storefronts and then it brings you to this because obviously like I've taught you guys, you have individual storefronts for your different niches. That's the way I map it out. But this only matters when you're first starting out and driving initial traffic to your channel, uh, to your website, sorry, Teespring page. And after that, it doesn't matter so much because once you are up and running, uh, you don't have to worry about niches as much once you get the trust score and you've been an established seller for a while. And you definitely don't have to worry about it so much on Redbubble and Merch by Amazon because you get promoted so easily on there. But when you're starting out and you're trying to establish the trust score on Teespring, it is important and you really want to be driving that niche traffic off of Instagram. So that's what I teach and that's how you get away with not having to use paid Facebook ads and drive traffic to your listings. But anyway, let's say that we want to edit one of these storefronts. So we'll go to this one. See, you can go view store here and it's tricky, but just here is the edit store button. So I think a lot of people miss this because I get a lot of very basic questions or basic to me and I don't mean to be offensive by that at all, but it's just edit store up here. So let's click on that and then it'll bring up this page. So from here we can edit everything to do with the store. So you've got the header, you've got the banner, you've got your products and you can add products here. You can also delete them. So uh, that, that's a question straight away answered that I had the other day. How do you delete products from your store? So that's how you can delete them. Um, you can also star a product which will feature it at the top of your store in case you didn't know that. And then if we just go back, then we can go down to the about section and change that. So the about section is obviously over here. And down below we have settings. So settings just here. And then this is where you can change your URL, so your um, permalink as it comes up. And that was a question that I had the other day. The other way that you can change that and make it different from coming up as Teespring is just to use like a, a URL shortener like Bitly. So this is completely free. And then you would just copy your link and then drop it into here. So pretty easy. Um, that's a URL shortener and that's how easy it is too. So from here, We've got turned on enable product categories, automatically display products, categories within your store, um, enable cross-selling. So there's another question that I had the other day on a video, how do you uh, do cross-selling? So you have it enabled there. And this is gonna be Teespring promoting cross-selling when someone checks out with something from your store. So really cool. And then answering another question again is how do you delete a store? So it's actually right here. And so I reckon that person, when they ask that, they obviously missed the edit storefront button, that, that little button that I showed you guys to get to here. And then you would find that in here to delete your store. So then we'll just go back and that's okay. And yeah, as I said, you've got your header here that you can change so you can have a logo. You can use the store title like that. Um, you can set the theme color and you can extend branding to products, show your store branding on all products in your store. And you can go to banner, and that's just to have your banner here, so that's how you upload that, another question that I've got before, or you can remove it from the same section. And then we'll just go back to dashboard here. 
Now you obviously have other options here. So if you want to create a new storefront, that's just here. So that's how you will create a new storefront because that's another question that I've had. So let's say that you have a dog niche store like this and then you want to go into a yoga store. So now you would create a new storefront and make that storefront about the yoga niche and then you would have all your yoga shirts, yoga pants, etc., all them designs in a storefront that is all about yoga. So I'm not a big fan of mixing everything together like having dogs and yoga and Mother's Day sale and gamers world all in one storefront. I think it's confusing for the customer and there has, I'm pretty sure I've seen some studies where people bounce off websites when they, um, it's not about what they think it is. So let's say that you have an Instagram and you're driving traffic to the store and then they get to the store and it's not about dogs at all. It's got all sorts of gaming stuff on here as well. Then people are most likely going to bounce off that store pretty quick. So if it's about what they've clicked through to see, like if it was about yoga, um, then they've clicked through and then it's a yoga storefront and it's yoga shirts and everything that they're interested in, the niche that they found, found you from in the first place and that's why they click through to see what you've got for sale. And then it's got all sorts of stuff like motorbikes and things in there. It doesn't really make sense and people are very likely to bounce off that store. And by bounce, I mean leave the store. So you'll notice up the top here, there's also another tab for cross sales. And this is another way to do cross sales. And then you can come down here and have it turned on. You might as well have it switched on. So Teespring's promoting more of your gear to other people. And then you can play around with this as well. So shuffle, newest, oldest, and best selling and also have featured as well. So you can play around with that. It's really up to you how you want to do it, but just make sure you have it turned on, in my opinion, and you can also create new storefront from there as well. So you can even see up the top here, guys, use storefronts to group related listings together. You'll have a single page to show customers and will even help you cross promote to encourage multiple purchases. And then up the top right here, you can click on this and it'll give you all of your tabs here, but you've also got them down the left here. So you've got your overview, you've got what listings you have. And if we just click on listings quickly here, and then we come down. So this is another question that I've had as well is uh, next print. So what does next print mean? It's on a two day print cycle. So that's how long until they'll print again and be able to ship your uh, shirt out. So it's a two day print cycle. Uh, you can order a sample. You can edit the listing from here. You can play with the settings from here. You can look at the analytics and you can also duplicate the settings. So this is another question that I had in the Facebook group is about like um, your settings when uploading designs. So if we had certain settings here, we would just go onto that and go duplicate settings. And then it brings you right across and it's going to give you the same sort of setup as what you had. So you can just upload quicker. So that's all that does, makes it easier. So if we come down, you've got analytics here and obviously not many sales because I haven't been pushing sales on this store. It's just a demo store that I use for the channel. But because of all you guys that check out the channel, you obviously go and check out this Teespring store and check it out. And so that's why it gets so many views all the time. Um, if I if I had the spare time to like work on this store as well, maybe I could and push some sales, but I have my other stores. I have enough things to do plus running the YouTube channel, plus, you know, having a life outside of all of this stuff. And uh, yeah, it makes me very, very busy. The analytics are very handy though. And then you could obviously check out all your stuff here. Uh, then we've got orders, then we've got marketing. And from here you can add a Facebook pixel and then you can also hook up uh, Twitter, Pinterest and Google. And I have made a video before showing you guys that Google Analytics is an awesome thing to have hooked up to your uh, Teespring store so you can really look at your analytics and break down when people are on your store, what they're looking at, etc. Really handy and it's completely free to have Google Analytics. So pretty cool. Then we can move right along to integrations. And this would be like, if I had 10,000 followers, I mean 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which I'll get there very shortly, hopefully, then I can have the YouTube merchandise shelf. So that is only for YouTubers that have 10,000 plus subscribers. Then you can hook up Twitch as well. You can hook up Discord and then you can have stream alerts also. Next one is messages, which is pretty much email marketing on the platform. So you can message 
people that have bought your shirts before and you can create groups with uh, different people as well. So pretty, pretty handy. Uh, this is, yeah, Teespring's own way of doing email marketing. You can send off emails to people who have purchased from you before and show them your new promotions, things like that, or something they'll be interested in. And it's a really handy way to get, just like having an email list, it's a really handy way to get more sales and create customers for life. Next one down is promotions, and I do have videos on how to make this as well. So you can add a promo code. You can see I was playing around with it here for the channel, creating promo codes. Very easy to do, guys. Go search out that video. It's on my channel in the Teespring tutorial playlist. Um, just look up something like Teespring promo codes and my name, I'm sure it'll pop up. Then you have payouts, obviously, when you get paid out. So down the bottom here, we have pricing discount, and that is for, just like Merch has different tiers, Teespring has its own tier system where they will give you discounts on how many shirts you sell. So you pay less for each shirt and therefore you make more profit on each shirt. So the more you sell, the bigger your profit margin will get. So down the bottom we have settings and I've just scrolled to the bottom here so you don't see my personal information, but you can change the default currency here. That's a question I've had before. And this one here, I've talked about this before as well, but it is important. I recommend having all of these turned on because it's more marketing for your shirts done by Teespring. So you can see they've got uh, basic retargeting, boosted network, enable boosted retargeting, sorry, uh, Teespring boosted product listing ads, enable sales through Teespring email marketing. So they're gonna do email marketing for you and get on the Google network and the boosted network of Teesprings as well. So why wouldn't you have that on? There's another one here as well, show timer on on always available listings and I would turn this on as well. So have that on as well because like it says here, uh, by ticking this box, we will always display the print cycle countdown timer on your listings when applicable. The countdown timer can create a sense of urgency for buyers. So any of you guys that are into drop shipping on Shopify or anything like that would know all about the creating a sense of, sense of urgency with the countdown timers. There is plenty of studies showing that it does make a difference, like people think it's spammy, but it does create a sense of urgency. That's a very real marketing tactic that actually works. And if we scroll down the bottom here, guys, you can see that you set your PayPal address. So you need to set your PayPal address um, or your Pioneer settings, whatever you wanna do. You need to have your payment details set up so that your shirts can get onto the booster network and also just for you to get on the teespring marketplace you need to make them initial sales and then have your payment settings uh all set up in there and then you'll be able to get onto the teespring marketplace but if you don't have those set up then you won't so make sure you set up all of your settings properly just like i've shown you guys in this video and that is it guys pretty rapid fire video it really just tried to answer as many questions in one video so it helps you guys out. So please give the video a like if that helped you out and comment below any questions or you know anything you wanna know, I can answer that in another video, if not down below in the comment section. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Print On Demand playlist, the Teespring tutorial playlist, the Print On Demand Mastery Facebook group, and make sure you hit subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.